Hello everybody and welcome back to this section and in this section what we will be doing is we will actually try to code our own tools in order to try to crack some of the passwords. Now what we will be doing is we will first of all try to see how we can actually make a simple string. For example if a user inputs admin as a string we will try to make a program that will output the hashed value of that string. Now we will use different types of hashes such as uh, MD5, SHA1, SHA224, SHA256 and so on. Now before we do any of that let's actually first of all make a directory for this uh, for this section so make directory password cracking you can call it anything you want let me change directory to there now let us first of all make a simple program that will perform the hashing of different types of hashes so in order to do that, let us first of all name it hasher.py, so we will nano that program and we will add our user bin python into the beginning of that program. Now there is a library that we need to use in order to perform this, which is called the hashlib library. So we will import it. What this library does, oops, let me just spell it correctly, so hashlib. What this library does, it basically just allows us to perform the hashing itself with a few lines of code. So in order to do that, let's first of all add the hash value. So we will make a variable called hash value, which will basically, basically be a simple word that the user will specify. So we will prompt the user. So let us do that with the input, which means that we will be running this with the Python 3. So input, and let us prompt the user to enter a string to hash to hash okay so what this will do it will prompt the user then they type any string for example admin and we will output to that user uh, the admin hashed in different types of hashes so let us see how we can do that let us make first of all let us try to output the md5 types of hashes those are the most simple ones and those are the easier to hash uh, they are the shortest ones as well from the ones that we will be doing. So let us make the hash object first of all. And we will call it hash object 1 since this will be just the first value of our string. So we need to make that object to have the md5 hash. So hashlib.md5 since this is the one that we are going to use right now. And we want to actually add to that hash object the hash value that we uh, prompted user to specify. So hash uh, object one dot and we want to update it with the uh, hash value which we will encode actually so hash value dot encode and what this will basically do is it will add this string to this hash object which then we will actually turn into an md5 hash with the hex digest uh, function so in order to use the function we all we want to do is print the hash object one dot hex digest. So this function will basically turn this string into the actual md5 hash. So let us see how that will work. So if everything is coded correctly, we should be getting the md5 hash out of our program. So Python 3, but first of all, let's make it an executable. Python 3 hasher one dot py. It prompts us for a string to hash and let us type here admin. And you can see we get a bunch of random code and the bunch of random letters right here. In order to check if this really is an MD5 hash, we can just open our Firefox and we will just paste this hash into our Google in order to see if anything will pop up. Now if this really is the admin hash, the first thing that will pop up is that this hash is actually short is actually the MD5 hash for the word admin. So let us see how we can check that. So just go right here and just paste the hash and click enter. Once this loads we will see what do we get prompted back. Hopefully it indeed is the admin password. And we can see decoded hash md5 the same hash equals to the admin. So our program works correctly. But this is just the md5 hash so let us see how we can actually make multiple hash values from this same word. So we will add all of the hashed values. Let us first of all nano our program back. Let us create the hash object 2. And in this object we will just try to perform the SHA1 hash. 
So hash object two equals hash lib dot sha one. Now the process is the same for every type of hash. So hash object two equals pardon me dot update. All we have to do is copy the same value right here. So hash value dot encode. And we just want to print the string turned into a SHA-1 hash. So hash object 2 dot hex digest, which is the function that you will most likely use every time you perform some of these programs that are password cracking wise. And all we want to do right now is actually save the program and see if it will work. So if we just type here admin once again, we see that we get two types of hashes. One is shorter, which is the MD5 hash, and the other one is the SHA-1 hash, which is a little bit longer. Now let's actually try to see uh, every type of hash that we can actually make. So in order to do that, let us just copy this so we don't type it like three more times. We will just copy it. We'll paste it. We'll paste it once again. And we will paste it once again, which should be enough. Now all we want to do is change these numbers. So first of all, this one should be number three. Change here three as well change here three as well and instead of SHA-1 what we want to do is use for example 224 so SHA-224 here we can use SHA-256 and we need to change this to 4 so hash object will be 4 same here but here we can use 512 which will be the longest hash as you will see that this one will be the longest hashed value of this word that we specify right here so let us change this to be all five. And right now, if we save this, we close the program, we run our program and type here admin, you can see that we get actually different types of hashes that are all different, that each one is longer than the previous one. So this one is SHA-512, this, SHA, this one is SHA-256, this is MD5, this is SHA-1 and this is SHA-224. So, for example, you can actually uh, realize that this is SHA-512 because it is the double time longer, it is twice as long as the SHA-256. So this is just some of the examples that how you can actually make a string to be a hash value. In the next videos, what we will do is actually try to crack some of these hash values and get a string out of them, which is the most useful part. I just wanted to show you how this works and what is the process behind of it so you can understand it a little bit better. For example, if you run this once again and use password, you will get the different types of hash for every version of the hash that we used. So we can see nothing really matches as before. That's because this is a different word. And we will try to use another program, which we will actually try to get the SHA-1 hash out of that program to match with a certain string from the password list. So hope you enjoyed this introductory video to the password cracking and I hope I see you in the next lecture where we will try to actually brute force a SHA-1 hash. So hope you enjoyed this and I hope I see you in the next lecture. Bye!